16 seconds. 19 seconds. Hello, welcome to our Recap Plus channel with me, Matthew. Today we will watch a recap movie The Equalizer, released in 2014. This is a spoiler content video. So please turn on the subtitle and let's start the story. Robert McCall leads a quiet life, working as a storekeeper at a hardware store in Boston. In addition to his duties, he assists his co-worker Ralphie in preparing for a new job as a security guard. Despite his solitary existence, Robert frequents a local restaurant where he often observes a young prostitute named Alina, visibly distressed by her circumstances. Robert gradually becomes sympathetic to Alina's plight, especially after witnessing her coercion by her pimp, Slavi. Following a series of encounters, Robert extends kindness to Alina, offering her food and companionship. Their bond deepens over time, with Robert sharing his love for reading, a hobby he adopted from his ex-wife. Tragedy strikes when Alina is hospitalized after a brutal attack by Slavi. Concerned for her well-being, Robert learns of Slavi's abusive behavior from another girl named Mandy. Determined to intervene, Robert confronts Slavi, offering money for Alina's release, but his efforts are rebuffed. In a fit of rage, Robert takes matters into his own hands, eliminating Slavi and his associates without leaving a trace. Despite the violence, Robert returns to his routine, concealing his actions from his colleagues and maintaining a semblance of normalcy. Meanwhile, the police attribute the killings to gang warfare, unaware of the true perpetrator. Pushkin, a Russian mafia leader, dispatches his subordinate Teddy Renson to investigate the murders. With the help of corrupt detective Frank Masters, Teddy seeks to uncover the truth behind the killings. As the investigation unfolds, Teddy interrogates Mandy for information about Slavi's enemies. Despite her reluctance to cooperate, Teddy suspects a professional assassin is responsible for the murders. Determined to maintain control, Pushkin orders Teddy to locate the killer and eliminate him as a warning to others. Amidst the chaos, Robert intervenes when corrupt cops target Ralphie's family restaurant. Using evidence of their wrongdoing, Robert forces the officers to return stolen money, ensuring Ralphie's safe return to work. However, Teddy's investigation leads to a deadly confrontation with Mandy, resulting in her demise. With tensions escalating, Robert's actions attract unwanted attention, placing him in the crosshairs of both the authorities and the criminal underworld. Meanwhile, Ralphie successfully becomes a security guard, expressing gratitude to Robert for his unwavering support throughout the process. However, Teddy uncovers incriminating evidence linking Robert to Slavi's murder through security footage from the club. At Robert's workplace, a burglary occurs, during which a robber steals money and a ring belonging to his co-worker Jenny. Robert, observant as ever, takes note of the thief's appearance and his car details. That same night, he takes action once again, anonymously returning Jenny's ring to her. Teddy pays a visit to Robert's apartment under the guise of a police officer investigating Slavi's murder. He questions Robert about Mandy and his presence at the club on the night of the murder. Robert provides plausible explanations, claiming he was there to meet a friend but couldn't find her. As Teddy leaves with Frank Masters, Robert watches them, sensing Teddy's suspicions about him. Meanwhile, Teddy runs a background check on Robert, while Robert fortifies his apartment, leaving false trails and setting up security cameras. Teddy sends his assistant to confront Robert at the restaurant, but Robert swiftly subdues him before disappearing into the night. During a raid on Robert's apartment, Teddy discovers the surveillance setup and orders his team to intensify the search. Robert watches their movements through the security cameras, staying one step ahead of them. Seeking answers, Robert meets with his friend and former colleague Susan at the intelligence agency. Susan provides valuable information about Pushkin's criminal activities and Teddy's true identity as Nikolai Ichenko, a former member of the Russian secret police. She warns Robert about the danger posed by Teddy and advises him to exercise caution. The next day, Susan questions Robert's motives for getting involved in Alina's situation and pursuing her abusers. Despite her concerns, Robert remains resolute in his determination to seek justice for Alina and hold those responsible for her suffering accountable. In response, Robert explains to Susan that his motivation stems from his belief in his capability to make a difference and his sense of responsibility. Susan realizes that this approach aligns with Robert's desire to work independently, which led him to leave the police force. She acknowledges that Robert often chooses unorthodox methods to achieve justice but expresses her continued support for him. After meeting with Susan, Robert takes matters into his own hands and breaks into Frank's house to extract information about Pushkin and his criminal activities. Despite initial resistance from Frank, Robert's coercive tactics eventually lead him to divulge crucial information. 
Frank reluctantly agrees to cooperate after Robert threatens his life, ultimately aiding Robert in locating one of Pushkin's secret money laundering warehouses. Disguised as a corrupt cop on Pushkin's payroll, Robert gains access to the warehouse and swiftly takes control of the situation by subduing the staff and securing incriminating evidence. With Frank's help, he retrieves a flash drive containing vital data about Pushkin's operations, which he later submits to the FBI. Meanwhile, Teddy retaliates by attacking the hardware store where Robert works, holding Ralphie, Jenny, and other employees hostage. Robert arrives at the store, rescues Ralphie, and engages in a fierce confrontation with Teddy and his henchmen. Despite sustaining injuries, Robert manages to eliminate Teddy and his accomplices with Ralphie's assistance. In the aftermath, Robert travels to Moscow to confront Pushkin at his mansion, where he devises a clever ruse that results in Pushkin's demise. Upon returning to Boston, Robert encounters Alina, who has recovered from her injuries and started afresh with the financial support he anonymously provided. Although unaware of Robert's true identity, Alina expresses gratitude for his encouragement. Despite dismantling Pushkin's criminal empire, Robert decides to continue his vigilantism under the alias The Equalizer, responding to calls for help online and using his combat skills to aid those in need. To watch more video like this, click on the videos on your screen, and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last I will say stay safe and stay healthy. See you next videos.